In this video, I go on a voyage of self-discovery with a deck chair masquerading as a flight sim rig, and all from an older gamer's perspective. As an older gamer, I spent the last 35 years or so tracking down those gaming accessories that will bring me one step closer to gaming Nirvana while at the same time trying not to spend too much money. That's just crazy! Which has to be said, is a poorly matched set of objectives that often leads me down the rocky road of buyer's remorse. And, on that subject, let me introduce to you the Flight Simulator Lite from Next Level Racing. At first glance, this ticked a lot of boxes for me. I needed something I could use in VR using my Oculus Quest 2 to play flight sim based games such as Microsoft Flight Simulator and Elite Dangerous, both using a HOTUS joystick and also I wanted to use a steering wheel and pedals to play racing sims such as Project Cars and the ubiquitous monster that is iRacing. Basically a sim cockpit jack of all trades. The Flight Simulator Lite does have two mounting blocks for a HOTUS, a tray that could be used for a wheel, and even a footrest area where you could mount pedals. And the price from Flight Sim Web Shop in the Netherlands was also fairly eye-catching. So in a moment of frugal madness, I ordered this little sim rig and crossed my fingers that all the bad stuff I had read online was either inaccurate or the product of liars, thieves, and other misinformed individuals. Sadly, this would not be the case. Big surprise! At least the assembly turned out to be a largely stress-free experience. It really is just a matter of following the rather basic instructions, popping a few pipes into place, adding some nuts and bolts, and occasionally persuading a part into place using the gentle taps of a rubber mallet. If you've ever assembled anything from IKEA and you have some very basic tools about the house, you should be just fine. And eventually, you'll end up with a fully constructed sim chair, albeit one with some rather problematic issues. That's why I can't ever be perfectly happy. In addition to hosting a HOTUS setup, my Logitech X52, I also needed to equip it with a force feedback steering wheel and for it to cope with all the torque and forces associated with that particular gaming accessory. It's actually designed for a somewhat more sedate yoke, something that doesn't really vibrate with the same enthusiasm as my Thrustmaster T300. Here you can see the flex in the wood caused simply by the Thrustmaster calibrating itself when it's first turned on. But that's not really my problem with this rig. So what's the problem? In fact, when I'm racing in VR, I don't really notice that much flex. I mean, sure, there is that feeling sometimes that the wheel is moving a little more than I would like, but it's not a deal breaker. What is a deal breaker is the lack of any adjustment of the wheel stand. There's no real ability to raise it up. I could put the legs at the front up a notch to give it a little extra height, but that would also take me up as well and be self-defeating. The only real adjustment is in the angle of the tray, but again, this is designed for a yoke, so probably works fine with that. It's just not ideal for a steering wheel. That being said, as far as I can see, the Flight Sim Lite from Next Level Racing is pretty much identical to their GT Lite which is a racing sim designed for a steering wheel. So in reality, this rig is probably not ideal for racing wheels at all. The opening and closing of the wheel tray is also an issue with the much heavier racing wheel. When attached, it feels just fine, but opening upwards feels very precarious. And I worried constantly that I would knock it while getting out the rig and send it crashing down. Opening it up like a barn door is the better bet, but again, it's not ideal for getting in and out. If I were to sum up this rig, it would be with the words, it's okay, but not ideal. And again, I stress, this is when I used it as a dual purpose racing and flying rig. Just for flying, well, it's a much cleaner and enjoyable experience. The only downsides I have, again, this is specific to my needs, is the headrest, which leans in and is not adjustable. The angle is perfect for hitting the back of my Bobo VR head strap that I bought for my Quest 2. When I have the battery on the back, the problem is even worse, with the constant collision of headrest and head strap being a major immersion destroyer. In one session, I caught the strap on the headrest in such a way that it actually flipped the mask off my face, very much 
not ideal. Enough complaining! Despite all these problems, I did find the experience of having a dedicated rig to race and fly in something that I very much enjoyed. I just couldn't see me doing it for very long in this particular rig, partly because of the headrest, but mostly because the seat itself is about as comfortable as sitting on a brick wall. And one of the major advantages of this rig is that you can fold it up and be stored away. Well firstly, I have the space to not have to worry about that. And secondly, I can imagine that if this unit were folded up, complete with HOTUS throttled wheel and pedals, it would be about as portable as a suitcase full of bricks. And if you ever could find a cupboard big enough to store it, I'm fairly certain that once this flight rig is stored in there, nothing else will ever go in that cupboard. Given the fact that any advantage this rig might have wasn't something I was interested in, and that it was the most amazingly uncomfortable chair I'd ever sat in, I decided to return it as it really didn't suit my needs. If you, however, are a flight simmer who isn't interested in racing, and have a high tolerance for sitting on uncomfortable things and need something you can store in a very big cupboard then this rig from Next Level Racing is well constructed and it might suit your needs better than it suited mine. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't already done so subscribe. Click the little bell icon if you want to be notified of any future videos.